something a little different today. I was uh, cruising around the supermarket and got some wings, got some other great stuff. And then I thought to myself, gotta start getting ready for summer next year. Let me find a nice light beer and watch the game. So I went to one of the lightest beers um, that I know of, and I'm sure you guys have seen this before also. Uh, Michelob Ultra it came out in 2002. Uh, I remember the lunch party at uh, Bar A back in uh, September. It was around my birthday, so that was pretty neat. Uh, so I, I picked this up. It's low carb beer. It is uh, two, 2.6 carbs, 95 calories in this bottle, 4.2% alcohol. So now I'll grab a couple of them and be fine. Lo and behold, as I'm walking, I see this gem, Nicolob Ultra. This one says pure gold, organic light beer. Uh, 2.5 carbs, 85 calories. So it's slightly less, 3.8% alcohol. But I was really curious to know, is this a marketing thing? Or is this really different inside? So I can tell you right off the bat, without even opening these, this is a clear bottle. This one is not, this one is brown. Uh, most beers should be brown bottled because uh, they don't react well with sunlight and uh, looks like a lot more enticing, a lot more refreshing. Um, so I'm going to open both of these up. We'll give them a taste. We'll pour them into cups. We'll do a, a visual evaluation. Let's see if, if this is all marketing or not. Well, I can tell you this one has more of a uh, caramel smell to it. Let me pour this a little bit out and then I'll hold them up. Okay, good, good, good fizz. I just poured a little bit in here. Here we go. This is the organic. This is the Legacy Michelob Ultra. Um, Visually, I, I don't really see much difference. This one's got a little bit better foam. Um, yep. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe tasting them's the way to go. Very grainy. Uh, very, very, very light, but we knew that already. Uh, like I said, I was going for the lightest beer I could find, and this is it. I mean, if you don't like beer, you might be able to drink this, especially if it's hot. This is not an IPA drinker's beer. This is, uh, I need to cut calories. I don't want to, uh, you know, wind up, uh, you know, drinking six or seven of these and being trash. This um, is very light, very easy to drink beer. The same for the organic, to be honest with you. Maybe it has a little bit better taste. Maybe it's just the marketing. I don't like it. And it certainly, you know, looks very pale. It is slightly different. I guess it is slightly different. This one definitely has more um, aroma to it. But this one actually tastes a little bit cleaner. It actually has a little bit better flavor. I mean, just by the most narrowest of margins. Does it have anything to do with the organic certified? I don't know. Um, I do know that uh, Michelob been around a lot longer than I originally thought. So it turns out that uh, Michelob Michelob was the first brewer from Saz, uh, Czechoslovakia at the time of the Czech Republic now. Um, he started brewing this in 1896 as a connoisseur of draft beer's choice, which I thought was um, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, they're owned by Anheuser-Busch now, so St. Louis, Missouri, also really well known for St. Louis Cardinals, um, lesser known for the Tums Factory, which is right across the street from the Cardinal Stadium, and uh, of course the gateway to the Midwest, the Arch, Really great experience if you haven't gone. There's a little funky elevator that takes you up on an angle. Used to really be an, an engineering uh, feat of its time. But uh, St. Louis, nice town. Uh, you may want to try uh, Ted Drew's Custard as well when you're in the area. That's uh, probably one of my favorite things to do there, in case you couldn't tell. That's why I have to drink light beer. But uh, it's not bad. 
it's, it's really not bad. If I was out on a beach, it was 100 degrees out, I'd definitely drink these. Um, I have done that before in the past. But uh, actually, I, you know, I, I, may, I may switch over to the organic just because I like the way it looks better. I mean, in the bottle anyway. They look pretty close in the cup. And the taste is pretty close. But overall, I give a slight edge to this, and I really think it's just the visual that's uh, giving me that incentive, right? You, we eat with our eyes first, they say. I'd agree. Michelob Ultra, not bad. Not a uh, huge flavor, just enough. Uh, very, very, very light. And we'll stick with some other beers here. Uh, close out um, that and we'll go back to wine. I got some white wine, some rosés, I got some, you know. If you have something you want me to try, you know, send it. If I can find it, I'll drink it. All right.